Hey everybody, I just wanted to say hello and thank you for your prayers and concerns and comments on YouTube and Facebook and everywhere. Um, we are in an area that they're having to be evacuated because we're near the Cape Fear River, but we are only a mile I think we're about a mile away from the Cape Fear River, so we're right on the border of being evacuated. Outside, it's actually kind of cloudy and just kind of drizzly and a little bit windy, but it's not really hurricane weather, but I guess from all the rain and the coming in from the coast, which we're two hours from the coast, so we, uh, we're packed and we're ready to go if we need to. It's just not like we're not in danger by any means our house is about three or four feet off of the ground we had a bad bad storm last year and we had water all through the yard and up to the bottom deck which was about a foot off the ground but we have an upper deck that's about three or four feet off the ground and that's where our house sits so we're not in any danger of being flooded i don't think uh, but we are a mile from the Cape Fear River, and that's what they're concerned about as residents that live along the Cape Fear River. So my husband, is a Greg, is a volunteer firefighter, and he is out uh, passing out mandatory evacuation notices to people that live along the Cape Fear River in our county. And um, we don't have power. This is just from the natural daylight outside, and I do have a couple of lamps on from the generator that's got our fridge running so that we don't lose our food yet. And uh, I have a fan going because you can't open the windows because it blows in the, the rain, so um, it's, it's bearable, and I am not suffering by any means, and don't worry about me. Pray for the families of, and the people that were evacuated along the eastern coast. That has been pretty devastating. There's been fatalities, uh, trees falling, and all kinds of stuff. And they're going to have a long time of cleanup and rebuilding in that area. I, have, I haven't even had a chance to listen to the news the last few days, so I don't even know what the numbers are or what all is going on on the coastal areas, um, which I'm two hours away from. But I thank you for all the beautiful comments and, and kind thoughts and, and words that you've sent my way. The emails, the messages, it's just been tremendous. I just really appreciate it. And um, I've kept trying to post a video here and there. I had some extra ones that I had been working on and editing and that kind of thing because they do take a while to do. And um, I knew that I wouldn't get to paint if, if we lost power and all. I knew I wouldn't get the chance to paint. So I've still tried to post a video here and there. But I just wanted to let you know that I was okay and that I very much appreciate your prayers and thoughts while we've had this nasty weather and um, it's it's probably pretty much gone across the state of North Carolina I'm pretty sure and into South Carolina and I know I've got friends that are more western part of North Carolina that probably have just had rain you know that kind of thing but um, we are doing fine and if we have to leave we will if it's you know mandatory we will leave We've got lots of family and friends that have offered to, you know, help help us out. So we also have to haul a dog and a cat and a litter box and all that stuff too. So, <laughs> but um, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. And y'all have a great day. Okay. Bye-bye.